Next exercise 8b. Exercise 8b, first question. Draw a histogram to represent the following data. Okay, so now is histogram. The last exercise we did bar graph and now is histogram. Okay, so I already told you, you draw in your uh, graph book. Okay, so I'm just showing here, but you do it in the graph book. So zero, and here is starting from 5000. So we'll just mark, mark it here 5000. And next one is 5500. Next 6000. 6500. 7000. And 7500. Okay. And here the number is here up to 18 is here. So I'll make it here 2468. And in your graph, you better make it uh, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Here I can't make up to 18. So I'm just making a. Uh, two four six eight. Okay. So the first one uh, here is monthly income. Monthly income in rupees, and here is a uh, number of workers. Okay. And here is uh, 5,000 to 5,500, the first one. So that is 5 is given. So 5 means 4 and 6 middle, 5. So you just mark it. Okay. And the next one is 8. So 5,500 to 6,000, that is 8. So we'll join from here itself. Okay. So that's the difference between histogram and bar graph. Bar graph means we'll give gap. Histogram, you won't give gap. Okay. It will be join, join only. And next one, uh, 6,000 to 6,500 is 16. It's 16, you make it line here like that and join it. Okay. And don't put here 5,000 to 5,000, don't put like that. It should be separate, separate. 5,000, 5,500, 6,000, separate, separate. Don't put it that dot line here. The question is given here like this, like this. Don't put like that, okay? Because if you put like that, you won't get any marks here. So it should be gap like this. 5,000 after that 5,500 don't put the line here 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 okay and next one is 6,500 to 7,000 is 18 so from here we can start 18 is just one box we make it so 18 and the last one is 13 so 12 uh, 14 middle one is 13 you can just 13 okay so now this one histogram you can just take it and scale you write it scale x axis one centimeter is we are taking here 500 500 is going so you just take 500 unit and y axis one centimeter is you are taking here two four six eight i'm writing here two unit okay if you take one two three four then you write one unit okay so that's over for histogram and you just shade it like that Okay, so that's over for the first question. Okay, and question number two is your homework. Okay, question number two is homework, and you try yourself. You class interval and the frequency is given. You take first 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 200, then like that. And here you make one, two, three, four. Or yeah, one, two, three is better. Okay, if you take two, four, also it's okay, but you take one, two, three, four, so and you same process. You try question number two. Okay. Question number two, we'll do like that. And question number three, uh, we have to make a frequency table. After that only, we'll make a histogram, okay? So we'll make first table, after that we'll make histogram, okay? So you finish it this one first. So 8B, question number three. So first we'll make the uh, table, after that we'll uh, find out, okay? So it's given here 210 to 215 is the interval is given, okay? So we'll just make it first, uh, just given expenditure, 
expenditure expenditure and uh, number of households okay so we can see this question here uh, question number three frequency form a frequency distribution table using class interval 210 to 215 215 to 220 and so on do a histogram for the above data okay so we'll just start 210 first 210 to 215 again 215 to 220 so you can see the big number is here you just check it big number is how much here so big number is here 237 is here and uh, 42 also is here so we can take it up to 250 uh, we'll take okay so 220 again 222 225 again 225 to 230 again 232 235 again 235 to 240 again 242 245 again 245 to 250 Okay, we'll take up to that much and I'll just count it because I'm not making here tell tally marks I'm just finding only the frequency here okay number of household just 210 to 215 just count it how many is here so it's here one two three okay and 215 to 220 is uh, the miss 215 to 220 means 290 only will take okay careful so we'll just take it here you come here four here and next one is 220 to 224 okay so there is one two on is here again 225 to 230 so that is one two three and four and 230 to 235 is uh, it's uh, only two and 235 to 240 is uh, one two three and four and next one is uh, 240 to 245 also same you can check one two 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 three and 245 to 250 is there is uh, just take it there is uh, 245 to 250 mean 249 is zero and two there is uh, one is zero there is one in two I think 249 is zero again 200 also is here so we'll take that is two okay so that means totally you just count it three plus four seven eight nine nine plus uh, thirteen fifteen uh, twenty four so it's coming here total twenty four so it's given the question twenty four yeah it's given twenty four households so the total is twenty four okay so now for this one we'll make a histogram okay so we'll just make it now this one you do it in your uh, graph this also, this one you do in the right side of the graph book okay and uh, graph will do in the graph side So 210, 215, 220, 225, 230, 235, 240, 245, 250. Okay. So this is expenditure in rubies. And here is number of household. And here we can take one, two, three is better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just make it like And this is X and this is Y. And the first one is 210 to 215 is three. So we'll just make like that three. Use scale pencil, okay, properly. And 215 to 220 is four. So we'll make four here and 22 25 is uh, 2 
again we'll make two here again next one is four after that two again two again four again three again two okay So the scale is scale x axis one centimeter is uh, you're taking five unit because it's going 10, 15, 20, so fine. And y axis one centimeter is one unit because you're taking one, two, three, so one unit. Only. So the chapter A is over. Okay. So just do it in the graph book, okay? After finish the homework, you send send me that all together, okay?